What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of My World. If this is your first time on my channel, I would like for you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on the latest videos. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the whole immigration process of me coming to America. I came here basically by myself because I was an adult already. I was 19 years old. I didn't travel with anyone. So I migrate here by myself. When I first came, the only family member that I knew of or that I could relate myself to, it was my mom, my little sister, my auntie and her two kids. So basically it was like four family member that was over here before me in Tampa, Florida. When I um, left Nicaragua, man, I left everything. Everything that I ever known. My entire family, my firstborn, she was there. I mean, even though she wasn't born yet, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was still there. So, why did I come to America? Hmm. Well, to answer that question, I have to go way back. I remember growing up, my mom used to always tell us, you know, like, we're gonna come to the United States and she left us when I was around 12 years old, I think. And, you know, she always used to be like, I'm gonna bring you guys, I'm gonna bring you guys. So, I used to always tell my friend, them, yo, I soon go United States, I soon go United States. And they'll be like, why, you know, and I'll be like, why not? I mean, I felt like, I felt really happy because I was coming to United States because of how it was portrayed on the TV, you know, like, growing up, man, we didn't have anything, so, like, being able to come to America and have all these things, them, like, I was really happy to be experiencing things like those, you feel me? The process, the process of me coming here, man, it was, it was, like, really long. Because like I told you guys, my mom left like when I was like 12 years old and I did not actually get here to America until I was like 19 years old. So that's a whole 7 year span. It shouldn't have taken that long. My mom had already put in the papers and you know she she wasn't a um, citizen by them time them so she had to rely on my stepdad to like be like checking up on our papers and stuff like that he he wasn't on top of the papers them or anything like that so my mom had to like ask for help to my uncle and he is the one that was pretending to be my stepdad and making all the phone calls and all of those things then finally when they get to my paper they was like but your papers was about expire already so we had to like rush and um i think i only had like a few months left before my papers was expired and then i would have to do all the process over again and finally well you know we got it done and i came here my decision was for when the time come and me coming here the whole thing was i wanted to come because you know i love my mother and i wanted to be where my mother was you know so, you know when when i came here i wasn't supposed to be the only one it was supposed to be me and my other sister if you all remember two of us is from nicaragua and yaneli is from here and um you know so me and my sister both of our papers were supposed to be finished at the same time but i think there was like a mistake with krishani paper or something like that so krishani ended up staying behind and now mind you guys know like me and krishani we grew up all our life together we always live in the same house you know like by me leaving her behind i felt i felt kind of weird but at the same time I was happy, you know, because even though even though we grew up the same place and stuff like that, we still had different experiences in life and things that we went through. So, you know, like I was happy to be with my mom, but at the same time I was sad because I was leaving my sister behind. I think she came probably like the year after. My life before coming to America, I feel like I had a great life, man. <laughs> 
I feel like I had a great life even though we didn't have much like financially you know like there was so much to do you know like a typical day would be like hanging out with family playing video game I would um, be playing marbles, you know, heising kites, um, shooting down birds. <laughs> um, just basically doing like kid stuff or teenage stuff, you get me? And when I came to the United States at the age of 19, like a typical day would just be basically nothing. I came here and I didn't have anything, I didn't have no friends my family my mom my stepdad my little sister they would be gone so you know i didn't have no one to talk to so at them times them i didn't even have a phone um, my mom had just bought me a desktop computer then time i didn't even know how to use the internet them time them it was like myspace time i didn't even know how to make a myspace or a high five or none of them things them you know so it, it was different you know i feel like the life in United States and Nicaragua is just it's more isolated out here and back home I just feel like it's more family oriented I came to the United States I think December 2007 that was my first Christmas in being in the United States and it was like one of the toughest time man like on Christmas Day I look at my mom and I was like this is the way you guys celebrate Christmas and she was like yes honey you know like life over here is like different you know and um I could just remember man like on Christmas Day after like passing Christmas in Nicaragua all my life and being able to go like to other people's house and celebrate with your family and friends and do other things to just come to the United States and not being able to do none of them things them it was just like it was just like a, a, a regular day and I hated it I didn't like it whatsoever I cried at least a couple of weeks after that I told my mom said that I didn't want to be in, in America anymore you know that I just wanted to return back to Nicaragua because like the life that I that I knew it, it wasn't the same anymore and she was like no you know what I'm saying like how about you give it a chance and I was like still giving it a chance <laughs> my immigration status at this point is permanent resident my mom have told me why I haven't become a citizen and I just I don't feel the needs to become a citizen like I know it don't change the fact that I'm Nicaraguan or anything I like in all honesty you know I feel like if I um, become a citizen I'm not doing it for me I'm doing it for my kids I mean I've been here for 10 years now you know and like I like the question is still why haven't you become like I just don't want to now that I'm here in Puerto Rico, it somewhat feel like home, you get me? Because like, you know, I'm around my Spanish people, like I'm eating like the Spanish food and I'm just into the culture basically that I grew up around, but it's still not home, you know, it's still, there is still a lot of difference between Puerto Rico and Nicaragua. But I'm also happy that I'm here in Puerto Rico because they have been like very welcome and they have treated me like really good. So I, I feel like at this point, this is the closest as I can get to home other than Nicaragua. So guys, that's like my story coming here to like the United States. If you enjoyed this video, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up. Also guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at akanikaflow505 and go and like my Facebook page as well, nikaflow505 and that's it. Life too fly to be stressing, Stress, throw trouble away and take your blessing, Bless, every day is a new lesson, Bless, I'm not perfect but I am progressing. Bless, I always shoot my shot, they step up, then I fade away Music like the only how to get me through the day Drop a lot of hitters, I ain't knocking what you say